Now hang on. You don't need to call for help. Nobody's gonna hurt you, okay? Right. Sorry. Look, we just came for the money, then we're gone. I don't know. Don't you know? Doesn't he tell you? Oh. Sorry. I shouldn't pry. <laughs> Thank you. It's fine. I'm gonna try his office. Uh, that a boy. It has to be in here. Huh. I wonder what happened here. Watching. That's cool. <laughs> Dale, I found it. What the? Here's the code. Yes! Whoa. Dale, check it out. Holy shit. <laughs> How much does this prick make? Here, let's load it up. Man, if I had as much money as this greedy asshole, I'd give it all to charity. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <sighs> Hell no, I wouldn't. I'd run and buy a 64 Pontiac GTO. Prettiest piece of metal you ever saw on four wheels. Ugh. What about you? Now well, what would you do if you could keep all this cash? It's not for us. It's for paying off Pa's debts and everything. Well, I didn't say we weren't. I was just asking if. Well, even if. I don't think we should. Whatever. Goody two-shoes. Play it cool when we're outside. Hey, we were plumbers. Call to check a clog. <laughs> Shit. Go. Go. Not coming up. Just came from my wallet. Got your PT rescheduled for Monday, by the way.
Who's there? No shit. Did you get the money? Oh, we got it all right. <laughs> nice work, guys. How about we stop for burgers on the way home, huh? Have a little celebration. We're gonna be celebrating every day for a week. Need all available cars in the area west Two Rock. Searching for a blue pickup truck. Copy on your request. Is everything okay? No, it's not fucking okay. I need units now. Someone robbed my house. <sighs> they didn't see us turn in. How'd they even find us? We got away clean. He must have seen the truck. Listen up! We're not here to hurt you. We don't even want your wallets. We just need a place to lay low until we can be safely on our way. Don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine. Understood? <laughs> oh. Oh. We understand. Oh. Yeah, whatever you say. Good. That's what I want to hear. Oh. Oh. You, keep that dog quiet. Oh. Shh. Oh. It's all right, Zeus. Let's just jack a car. Drive back the other way before they realize they're not chasing anyone. Too risky. If they got roadblocks. Vince, we need to do something. Just do what he said. Keep quiet. And what if they change their minds? These boys are obviously making it up as they go. We can't stay here. We can until dark. Then... We set out cross country. It's our best shot. I'm telling you, we gotta Drop move. the weapon. <sighs> Easy now. Let's I just... said drop it. <sighs> Let's all just take a deep breath, okay? It's my motel. I'll deal with them. Uh... No, he's right, Joyce. If that thing goes off... Then I'll scrape them off the walls. But it don't have to be like that. If we help these boys out of whatever corner they got themselves stuck in... I'm not helping them with shit. Show me your faces. I said, take off the masks. Oh, no. You're the Holt boys. You're the ones who hit our car. Paul! Take the shotgun. I, I... I'm sorry, I can't. Christ. Really, Paul? You. Grab the gun. <laughs> now point it at him. Uh, you do that, I promise you'll regret it. Paul was right. No more guns. Should've held on to it. Hey, you get the truck hit away? It's in a shutout back. Tyler, these people didn't do anything to us. They will if we let them. You and Dale, line them all up. I need to make a call. It's me. We got a problem. Desert Dream Motel. I think I don't know that. All right, shitheads. 
Over by the tables. You boys, you haven't hurt anyone, have you? Yeah, we killed the president. Ain't that right, bro? You're the middle brother. The one who got himself sent off to juvenile hall. Shut the fuck up. Why? Everybody knows. Joyce, don't. From what I hear, you're just like your daddy. Another fucked up Holt thinks the world's his to break. What, like this? Hey. Or how about this? Come on, man. Is that necessary? Are you necessary? <laughs> Shut it up. Now. He's a dog. He doesn't have an off switch. It's just nervous, Dale. I don't care what it feels. I want it to shut up. Hey, hey, Zeus. Remember me? I said, shut it the fuck up. Dale, what are you doing? It's called controlling the room. By pointing guns at puppies? Wasn't breaking the Kasdan boy's jaw enough for you? Don't you start with me. Or what? You'll break my face too? Or are you just gonna shoot me? Zeus, quiet. Joyce, please. What? You're riling him up. You think I'm scared of him? He's just a high school dropout who thinks he's some tough guy. Look, I saw a kid leaving when I first arrived here. He's yours, right? What does he have to do with us? I'm just saying, one parent to another. If things go wrong here, the last thing you want is him growing up without a mom. Shh. Uh, shh. Hey, it's all right. Good. Now stay that way. What the hell is going on out here? It's nothing you gotta worry about. All right, it's settled. We stay put about an hour and leave once it's dark. Fuck, a whole hour? Hold on. Why do they have so much luggage? Who else are you traveling with, huh? You tell me the truth now. Just me and my father. We're on a road trip to sort of get to know each other again. There's a lot of stuff for just two men. No, it's true. It's just him and the older fella. See? There's only one key missing. You know something? I don't like you. You got this look like you're scared shitless. Tell me I'm wrong. You don't know the first thing about who I am. Don't I? Nope. With this tough guy act of yours, that I can't see through. Let's just hope your walk's as cool as your talk. <laughs> What do we do? That's just Big Sam. He buys a soda, talks for a while, then he's gone. Jay, in the back. Go with him. Mm hmm Get rid of the cop. You hear me? Sure thing, boss. You two. Keep your mouths shut and this'll all be over faster. <laughs> You're coming with me. Hey there. Evening. Hey, Sam. Paul, how's things? Slow as usual. Yeah, like my daddy always said, if you don't slow down, you don't see the wall before you hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's uh, Joyce and her kid? Upstairs? Oh, uh, Ash is at a friend's house for the night, and Joyce isn't feeling well. She's been in bed for days. 
Uh, sorry to hear that. Say, uh, you haven't seen three fellas in a blue pickup, have you? Maybe out on the road somewhere? Nope. Been here all day. How you liking the desert dream? Oh, uh, can't complain. Yeah, Joyce runs herself a tight ship. Shh. <sighs> so, who else you traveling with? Oh, just me and my dad over there. Evening, officer. Oh. So, uh, why the booster seat? Huh? I saw your car when I pulled in. California plates? Oh, I, um... I have a kid. Back home. But you know how it is. The seat lives in the car. True. We got two living in the back of the Bronco. Can I uh, ask what brings you to Two Rock? We're just here for the night. On our way to Missouri, actually. Oh, yeah? Why Missouri? If you don't mind me prying. My wife grew up there. You know what? It doesn't matter. No problem. Just had to ask. Big Sam, where you at? <laughs> There's a dream, but I'm on my way back. Anyway, we're looking for three idiots who broke into the sheriff's house, if you can believe anyone would be that stupid. They're armed and dangerous, so if you hear anything, you call 911. Any idea who it was? Nah, they covered their faces so they uh, wouldn't be recognized. Oh, is that why? Which choice better for me? Daddy! I'm gonna skip first grade! What took you so long? <sighs> Hang on, who are you? I'm his wife. Is something the matter? You're his, uh... Right. You said it was just you and your dad. Vince, what's happening? Nothing. Just chatting with one of Two Rock's finest. Look, are you sure everything's okay here? I'm wondering the same thing. If I'd seen anything, I'd tell you, I swear. Huh. All right, y'all take care now. Daddy, what's happening? Oh, God. <sighs> Dale, Jay, we're leaving early. And we're taking her. What? Wait, no. You lie about things, you lose them. Hang on now. If we get away without being followed, I'll drop her at a payphone. But if you call the cops... Please, I'm begging you. Leave my wife out of this. If you need someone, take me. It's not up for discussion. If you want to help her, keep the cops away. to hold a gun anymore. Tell him to let her go. If I did that, it wouldn't be a standoff. Vince, maybe you should put the gun down. Or maybe you keep your toys for once. Is this really what you want? In front of your kid? See, I knew you'd be sensible. 
but I can't let you get away with that. 